are you? I'm good. Lovely, lovely choice. Oh, thank you so much. I'm not used to gowns. Well, you pulled it off. Oh, well, thank you. I'm trying. I'm trying uh, unless, hard. do you have boots on underneath oh, it? Oh, no, I wish. These are the <laughs> highest heels I've ever worn in my whole life. Oh, my it's a gosh. miracle that I can walk. Oh, my gosh. Well, my friend here wants to do the interview. Oh, Is okay. That all right with you? Yeah, of course. All right. There you go. Thank He's you, a Lynn. huge fan. I oh am. My this is him. Oh, thank you so much. Um, we I love your suit. <laughs> thank you. I love your outfit. Oh, my thank goodness. You. What an honor. Um, I'm losing my mind talking to you. I'm going to collect myself now. So you have this incredible kind of DIY punk rock uh, look, as far as I can tell, with your work ethic in yes. terms of you do everything from the writing uh, to the lighting in your tours and oh, everything. Yeah. This new experience with acting, it seems like you would have had to go from being responsible for so many different things to really just focusing on one thing. Is that scarier in some ways, or can you talk about that? 100%. I mean, yeah, I mean, with Hi and me and my siblings from start to finish, it's just us. Where, again, yeah, like thinking about lighting and stage design and songwriting and, and production and all these things um, were honestly, I like the word control freak. That's like my favorite word. I love being a control freak. Um, but with making the movie, I and mean, when you work with someone like Paul Thomas Anderson, we trust him. You know, me and my siblings have worked with him on music videos before, so he's the first person that we've trusted with our whole heart from the beginning. And so doing a movie, I mean, yeah, like, I would have had no, I, what, am I going to tell someone how to light a scene? I have no idea what I'm doing. No, and it, but it was fun coming to set and everything was already done and I could just focus on my, on my work and it was great. I loved it. It's two different sides of your brain, though, I will say. That's a very high standard to have Paul Thomas Anderson as the person you'll let uh, uh, have creative control over you on some level. Oh, yeah. I'll give him full, I give him full control. That's fine. You could take it. Now, if I could bug you with one other. Um, of course. You did your own stunt driving, if I, I did my own stunt driving. For, for almost the whole thing, right? So yes. Can you talk just a little bit about the fear of that and the joy of that? Well, yeah. I mean, I, I'm a terrible driver, and I've said it a million times, and my, my parents are here tonight. They will back me up. Like, out of all the sisters, I was the hardest to teach how to drive. A bad driver from LA? A bad driver from LA. I actually got my license when I was 18. You're supposed to get it when you're like 16 and I was such a bad driver. My dad didn't trust me. So I waited until I was 18. Um, I didn't tell Paul that necessarily. And when I read the script, I saw this like amazing truck sequence in the script and I was like, ah, oh, there's no way I'm doing this. There's no way I'm doing this scene. And, and, and Paul was like, oh no, you're doing it. And it was frightening, but also I love new challenges. I love new adventures. I was like, bring it on. I mean, again, did not let anybody know that I was a bad driver. I kind of, I, I acted. I faked it till I made it. I made it. <laughs> I had to act like a good driver. You know what I mean? What, what can I say? <laughs> Who are you? Everyone was. Just so, just so you know, I was shaking in my boots. Thank God Bradley Cooper is still alive to tell the tale. <laughs> well, we have to let you go, but. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.